I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So here it is 2020 and I'm sure many of you who watch this video may have abandoned your home phone years ago or may never had one if you're if you're a younger person like me. Um, some may not even notice, but I have a home phone. And for people who are in, of course, millennials, that may be kind of rare. So I'm going to talk about some good things that, um, some, some good things of having a home phone in this day and age. So, you know, in years past, when cell phones really took presence, um, you know, the old fashioned corded or cordless home phone at your house, uh, Seen a, seen a bit dated and many people decided to get rid of it for you know, of course having not not needing an extra phone line and mainly for the cost of the phone bill um, yeah telephone bills back back you know 10 15 years ago were pretty outrageous um, lots and lots of surcharges and sometimes long distance fees based on what kind of service you have um, you know the offerings from AT&T and other companies was it was pretty high uh, so many people got rid of their home phones altogether but some people switched over to uh, at the time newly uh, new, uh, new offers from you know the cable company for for digital phone or Vonage for their internet connected home phone and that did make the home phone somewhat cheaper but still it was kinda high um, so, and of course, with smartphones and you know, what have you, people don't really have a need for home phones. But, I still have one. So, here's the thing. I've, uh, when I, uh, I've always had my home phone through Magic Jack. Um, I started with Magic Jack back in 2010. And I've had, let's see, the end of this year, 2020, will be 10 years since I signed up with Magic Jack. And... The nice thing about Magic Jack and some other voice over IP providers out there is you can get a home phone line for next to nothing. I mean, the last time I paid for home, for this home phone, not including the 911 surcharge, um, was 2015. My home phone is good till September of this year until I need to add years of service to it. And I paid $100 for five years of service. You better say I have not actually paid for this home phone since September of 2015. Now, later this year, I'm going to have to add years to it, and I think I can get three years of service for like $80 or so to the Magic Jack. Yeah, Magic Jack has gone up a little bit in price over the years, but the service has got better. Um, back, in, back in 2010, when I first got Magic Jack, it was based through your PC, and that meant that uh, your PC was running your home phone on top of all the other Windows processes that it was running and on some computers that just never quite worked out so well um, but in I think it was 2011 Magic Jack released the Magic Jack Plus which is very similar to the current Magic Jack Go device um, in that it can either run off your PC or run straight off your wireless router through an Ethernet cable and Ever since that happened, you know, ever since that came out, the service has gotten a lot better. And in recent years, Magic Jack has made other improvements to the service. And unfortunately, in a way, that's uh, part of why the bill has gone, the, the cost of service has gone up a little bit. So for, for my situation, my home phone does not cost a lot of money. It actually, uh, like I mentioned, I just, I just told you about the price, and it rides on top of my internet service, which is through Spectrum. And depending on the internet service, uh, depending on what internet service you have, it will it will determine how well the Magic Jack device will work for you. I've heard good things about it, and I've heard bad things about it. Um, I think it does require some technical knowledge to set up. So that's out of the way. Another reason why I like having a home phone, and this is a big one, is you know a lot of times when you sign up for various services and what have you, a lot of times they require a phone number. So, in some cases, they can call you and offer you ads 
over the phone or just they need to sign you up for something and it requires your home phone or just requires a phone number. This goes with me everywhere I go. And when, for example, when I'm at work or if I'm out somewhere, I don't need this thing ringing off the hook or just ringing all the time. So it's better to have your home phone set up for that. So while you're at work or you're at uh, who knows where, this can ring all it wants to and not bother you. But yeah, I guess it could bother you when you're sitting at home. But you can't get the idea. I actually, most of everything I sign up for, unless it's something where they actually really need to contact me, I give them my home phone number when they require a phone number. So, like, for example, my, my utilities and all that stuff, they have my home phone number on file, not my cell phone number. Um, so that's, a, that's another advantage of having a home phone line in, in today's age is you can associate all your, your products and services with that phone number instead of your cell phone number. Because let's face it, it's not uncommon. In some cases, it's not uncommon to we may have to change your cell phone number for whatever reason. Um, usually, what I say with home phones um, now, if you're with a you, if you are with a traditional phone company, let's say like AT and T or whatever, if you move a certain distance, you may have to change your home phone number. But with Magic Jack, you can keep your home phone number wherever you move. Um, so let's say if I sign up for Magic Jack in this area and I you know I get a phone number, I don't have to change that phone number if I move out of state or wherever. Um, now, traditionally, it would be a good idea to change your phone number if you move a good ways away because those who are on older plans that charge long distance, um, like especially for example, rural phone services, they may charge long distance. Even if you're next door and you have a phone number that's based out of a city mile, hundreds of miles away, they will get charged long distance. But most phone offerings, I believe these days, are in, in national, like unlimited national calling, no long distance or, um, fees or whatever you have. Um, but with services like Magic, you can take that phone number wherever. So that's one phone number that you Practically, you can depend on not having to change it. Um, cell phones. Now, this, this they're, they're very similar. I mean, I I know people who've moved from states away who still have their old cell phone numbers from wherever, different area code, and you name it. But I still prefer to have that home phone as the number I use to sign up for stuff. Here's another thing. And this is kind of specific to uh, to certain areas where I live at. Cell phone service is not exactly that great. Now I am getting some bars there, but it's it's uh, the service is not that great uh, in this area. Um, and another example is my my parents' house. Um, in their house. You can forget about making cell phone calls because the cell phone reception just does not make it in to the house. Now, cell phone companies usually do offer, sometimes at a at an extra cost, devices you can lease or whatever to help improve reception in the home or in certain areas where you're not getting the best reception. Now, a workaround for this is some phone uh, cell phone providers and some cell phones offer. Excuse me. They offer Wi-Fi calling, which is kind of what Magic Jack does. Is, is it, it places and receives calls over the internet. So that's one, I guess, workaround for that. And um, so in my area, as I mentioned, cell phone service reception is not the greatest. It's nice to have a home phone that way I can get good call quality and not crackly. Uh, eat, or eat, uh, phone quality that you get with a cell phone at least where I live um, I have always found even with Magic Jack the call quality is a lot better on my cell phone people sound a lot more clear on, on, on this than they do on a cell phone um, unless they're calling from a cell phone then of course you know, that depends but uh, home phone to home phone calling or if I call into let's say I need to call 
a power company or whatever about something, the call quality is there. It's it's not it's not poor. It's decent. So that's another reason why I have a home phone. Is because when I'm talking on the phone, I prefer to be able to hear what the person's saying and understand them. Whereas with this, sometimes you can forget it, depending on where you're at. Cell phones are great for on the go, in my opinion. They're they're good for when you're out and about. So yeah, you know, that's where obviously mobile phones have an advantage. But when I'm at home, I'm usually using this to call people or receive calls. So that's another thing about home phones that I still prefer. Um, another thing is with cell phones and smartphones, especially old ones like this piece of crap right here that uh, can barely make it through a day on a charge, <laughs> I like to be able to place calls and receive calls without you know, having this with a USB cable hooked to a computer, whereas this, I have two of these handsets and also a corded handset. So if one handset dies and needs to be charged, I have an extra. And these will last me at least a week before they need to be recharged. They last a while. Uh, matter of fact, years ago I actually upgraded the batteries in these things to much bigger ones. And um, they last a, they last a long time before needing to be recharged. So for anything besides texting and stuff you do on cell phones, this, this right here I think is a much better better way of doing it. Um, again, when you're not paying much for your home phone service, it makes a big difference there. And that's you know I mentioned I'll go back to that a little bit is when you can get the phone service for next to nothing, why not have a home phone? I mean. And of course, I know everybody's situation differs. Let's say if you're always out and about on the go and you're not home much, then perhaps, yeah, the home phone would not really be all that great of an option. But those are, those are some reasons why I still like to have a home phone available. Um, now, if I was having to pay 60, you know, 40 to $60 a month for this, then I'd say forget it. Not happening. But when I can get it for what? Thirty dollars a year, I think, is what Mad Jack charges now. Thirty to thirty-five dollars a year, something like that. It's it's worth having. And also, here's another thing: nine one one. I have not, luckily, I have not had to dial nine one one. But uh, my parents, when I was living with them, when my grandmother was still alive, we had to use nine one one several times because my grandmother needed to go to a hospital. And when you when you you make you place a 911 call on a cell phone. Um, a lot of times, what they have to do is they have to sort of geolocate your 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 location, and that adds time to a situation where time is could could cost you your life. Um, with with uh, home phones, generally your not your 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 address is on file when they receive your call. Um, so. And that comes, and that, again, the, the service quality aspect really plays here. Um, if I'm in an emergency and I need to call 911, I'm going to be doing it on this, not on my cell phone. Because this here, I know pretty well sure it will connect just fine. The cell phone, there, it's, it's, like I say, it's not the most reliable. Now, of course, I'm out and about, yeah, obviously I'd have to use a cell phone, but that's another aspect of it. So. Those are some those are some key things I'd like to I wanted to mention about you know, of course having a home phone and something some reasons why it may not be such a bad idea to have one um, even if it's like through Magic Jack which is not a traditional service it will not work in a power outage I should mention um, but for the most part it's definitely a nice supplement to having just your cell phone. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, many people abandon their home phones and primarily just use their cell phones. I'm not one of them persons. I use my cell phone when I'm not at home. Otherwise, I use this right here for calls. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that we will get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.